guys, welcome to the cabin. Uh, today I'm getting the opportunity to take a quick look at a B PJD guitar, um, which is a really beautiful junior style instrument um, with a stop tail piece, very reminiscent, in fact, of uh, what you'd find on maybe a hardtail strat, and a P90, rather fetching shell pink finish which has got some um, really quite nice crazing in it which um, gives it a really slightly relic look without the chips um, there's one or two but uh, really quite smart and absolutely beautiful flame maple neck really nice grain in it I would think it's uh, probably roasted but I'd have to look up the spec but you could do that and uh, the fret markers are little square inlays very very neat they look beautiful um, and this is a two-piece neck uh, with a, f a fingerboard and a truss adjustment here at the nut standard what looks like to be a tusk nut uh, which are maybe self-lubricating. It's uh, so uh, a Telecaster-ish headstock with a quite acute change in the design, um, and Clouson style tuners with the uh, old vintage style of pushing the string down the centre of the capstan uh, to lock it in. Um, really quite nicely put together guitar. Uh, the shape of it, I would say, would be probably a C shape um, not too thick at the sides what I call the shoulders of the neck so it, it slopes away it's very very comfortable satin finish uh, and uh, altogether a real darling one of the interesting things about the neck fitting is the use of hex key bolts and I believe looking at this um, that this might be what they do inserts in the back of the neck and then the body is bolted on into the inserts rather than into the wood of the neck. I've never seen screws as such, but I could be proven wrong. Um, also, it's uh, the, the, the shape of the heel follows the shape of the body, which is really quite nice. It's a nice thought, gives you a little bit more access here uh, and in the high end. And it's a strong through body as well rather like the telecasters now it's got a p90 so p90s are known for their slightly growly sound the trick with this is to use the tone control uh, you, you, i'm a great believer in using tone control uh, something that was passed on to me by some very clever guys who knew what was going on and changes the cue and you can hear it sort of rounding off the top end it's getting a bit fatter at the moment i've got no drive on on this i'm using one of the sparks which uh, i've had for a couple of years i quite like it it's very useful uh, little 40 watt amplifier in the studio you can hear that's warmed up a little bit now I've, I've wound it and of course you wanted to, wanted to use jazz tones it's going to do that for you so all around it, it you know for one a one pickup guitar it's uh, a very very versatile sound <laughs> So there you go. 
it's uh, we're rocking around here okay see you soon